Welcome back to part two of Perspective Plotter, a Blender add-on that interactively matches a 3D camera to an image or video in real time. See part one for installation and getting started. This part will cover the other perspective modes and the additional controls that help you set camera orientation. By default, you will be in two-point perspective mode, which is traditionally used in sketches and illustrations. In one-point perspective mode, you define a single vanishing point using two perspective lines and a horizon line controlled by another. The vanishing point will always converge at the horizon line. Because the camera needs extra depth information in this mode, an editable focal length is provided in the panel to calculate the viewing angle. Three-point perspective mode is best for drawing compositions that are looking up at a large object, looking down from a high place, or for greater accuracy. Here you have three pairs of perspective lines to define the three vanishing points. In every mode you'll notice a white dot in the centre of the view. This is the position of the target location that the camera looks at, which is by default the centre of the 3D world. You can left click and drag the grid point to change the position of the grid centre from the view. You can also change the target location in the side panel by selecting the Manual option in the Target Location drop-down. The principal point describes where the middle ray of the scene would hit the camera lens. For one and two point perspective modes, this is assumed to also be the middle of the view by default. Switching this setting from the image midpoint to Manual will allow you to change where the principal point is by clicking and dragging the point in the viewport. In three-point perspective mode, this principal point is instead automatically calculated from all three vanishing points. There are parameters that will help you set the camera's distance from the target location, something that cannot be determined from the vanishing points alone. By default, the camera is moved away from a target location by a set distance which is controlled by the camera distance parameter. You can alternatively select the camera distance by measuring a line from the target location to a vanishing point. This is useful when you know the length of something in the reference image. To set the camera distance this way, change the default setting under Reference Distance to along X, Y or Z axis. You'll see a shortened blue line appear along the camera's scene origin to the vanishing point of the specified axis. You can adjust this line by dragging on either end or by altering the relative points in the panel by clicking the small measuring symbol next to Reference Length. The blue line represents a reference length in the world view as seen from the camera, set to one unit by default. Changing the reference length changes the length that the blue line represents in the scene. This allows the add-on to determine a camera's distance based on the length of the blue line from the 3D target location to a vanishing point. By overlaying the line on a reference image, you can then determine the camera distance by using an edge in the image with a known length. There are other tools included with the add-on, such as flattening the horizon line automatically by the click of a button. See the documentation linked in the description for more details. The next set of videos will show you other tricks, such as how to animate the camera and a tool called Move Along View, designed to help with modelling. We hope you'll find the add-on useful. Available now from Blender Market and Gumroad. Links are in the description. Do let us know if you have any questions by contacting us via Blender Market or by emailing info at configurate.net. Thanks for listening.